What's up guys, this is Janemba, and today I'm going to show you how I made this diorama. Alright, so I first started by making the cave out of foam. Alright, and then I started to make a little path with some plaster. I then started to add the junk parts that I 3D printed. By the way, the scale I printed these at is end scale. I used some more plaster to glue them down. I added some small rocks and some sand to the plaster and I also added quite a bit of water so that it's easier to work with. I added some plastic pipes from a kit. I also 3D printed some individual barrels to keep everything randomized and spread out. After letting everything dry, I spray painted everything gray. Begin to add some base colors like red for the barrels and brown for the dirt. As you can see, the base colors are done. You could paint the barrels whatever color you want. So now I'm adding a brown wash to everything to make it look weathered and old. So here I'm adding a rust color to all the pipes, but I also add it to all the barrels and all the other junk parts. So you can keep adding more washes until you get the look that you're going for. So now I'm dry brushing everything a light gray color.
So here I am test fitting this big tank thing. I don't know what you call it. Alright, so at first I wanted to record how I painted this humanoid spider thing, but it was honestly too small for me to paint it in front of the camera. So sorry about that, but here's the final result. So here I'm adding some more junk using the same techniques I did for the first half of the build. So then I glued down the big tank that I was test fitting earlier. So here I 3D printed some cool little makeshift fans. I painted them the same way as the barrels and all the other junk. So here I'm adding this little shed, but later on in the video I end up removing it because I don't like how the print came out. So here I am adding some barrels that are stacked on top of each other but also some individual barrels. So here I am beginning to add some 2mm medium green static grass. I added static grass randomly all over the build, but as you can see I avoided adding static grass in the walking path. I actually ended up adding 2mm light green static grass on top of the static grass I already placed and that will give us some nice color variation as well as different height. As you can see now I am removing the little shed. As you can see I was able to cover the hole perfectly with the junk pile. So now to finish the build off I will add some leaf litter. Leaf litter is just dead leaves grinded up. As you can see I am just pouring the leaf litter everywhere. I use the brush to remove the leaf litter where I don't want it. Make sure to move the leaf litter in between the grass fibers and don't let it just float on top. I then sprayed everything with rubbing alcohol and then I added some watered down glue with a syringe. As you can see I am using a paper towel to soak up the glue 
in areas where I might have added too much glue. So then you just want to let it dry for 24 hours. I actually ended up repainting most of the barrels because the glue ended up washing away most of the paint. I added that little dead soldier, but he's honestly too small, you can't really tell what it is. So I decided just to remove it. Anyway, that's gonna do it for this video. Now enjoy some final shots. Peace.